Hi everyone, and welcome to another Planet Cobot video. In this video, we're going to be looking at how to build and code Tricky from the LEGO Mindstorms Robot Inventor Kit. As you could see from our intro, we had a bit of difficulty with Tricky this time. Not sure whether it was the bright lights or something else that was going wrong, but Tricky wasn't playing ball. So while we don't have tons of footage of him working, we do have some excellent coding footage for you to follow along to. The first thing to understand about Tricky is that it's an autonomous robot, which means that it isn't directly controlled by the user. So while we're going through this, I'll try my best to explain how he is working and what each line of code is actually doing. We start off just by putting the lights into basketball mode. This is just the animation. It's a minor detail, but it does look nice. Next, we're going to set the speed for mode to C. Motor C controls the arm which Trick uses to pick up the ball, so it's important that we don't have this too fast, otherwise it's going to be erratic and could end up dropping the ball before it reaches the final destination. Finally, we're just going to make sure that Tricky is set up and ready to start going, so we want to make sure that arm is touching the floor and it's not going to be midway in the air when Tricky is moving forward. Now, if you look at the line of pink code at the very bottom of the first section, you can see that Tricky is going to move forward 100 centimeters. As I said previously, Tricky is an autonomous robot, which means that he will control himself. There is no remote control going on here. So this block just tells Tricky to keep moving forward. We're going to interrupt that action in a later part of the coding. Okay, so we're now going to move on to the part where we're going to program our distance sensor. And it's this part which is going to really make Tricky a smart little robot. We're going to start off by asking the distance sensor to light up after a second. So one second after the program has started, our distance sensor will light up. And it's being programmed by port D. Now, as you can see, we've got a wait until block. And inside that block, we're basically asking the robot to wait until the distance sensor can pick up an object within eight centimeters of it. In other words, this part of the program is not going to kick in until the distance sensor can notice that object within the 8 centimeter parameter that we've asked for. Once that does happen, though, there are going to be some changes. First of all, motor C, which we've already discussed is controlling Tricky's arm, is going to turn 110 degrees, lifting it into the air. Hopefully, the ball will be in the arm and not floating across the floor somewhere. Tricky's then going to stop, play a little sound, and the motor speed is going to change. It's going to reduce down to 40%. This is just to allow Tricky to carry the ball without dropping it. Remember, speed is not always a good thing when we are trying to do delicate procedures. Tricky is then going to move back 100 centimeters. So assuming the ball was placed quite far away from the robot to begin with, Tricky should, in theory, move as far backwards as he did forwards. We're now going to add on the final part of our code, and this is going to be the part that allows Tricky to dunk the ball into the basketball hoop. And it's going to be using the color sensor. Now, as you can see, we've chosen the color which matches the bricks that we have used in our basketball model. Obviously, if you've used different colors, you don't want to be selecting these green ones. You need to pick whatever color you have used in your physical build. Now, when Tricky notices this color, he's going to start going through a separate line of code. And the first thing he will do is stop. So assuming Tricky is moving backwards and holding the ball in his arm, when he notices that color, he is going to stop. Now, the color sensor is underneath Tricky. So the only way he's going to notice this color is if he drives directly on top of it. Once Tricky does notice that, the motor speed for motor C is going to be set at 75%, which is a little bit faster than it was before. Tricky is then going to move the motor for 0.4 seconds, which will essentially see Tricky flick the ball from his arm backwards towards the basketball hoop. Tricky will then play his celebrate animation and the slam dunk sound. He likes to assume that the ball goes into the basketball net every single time. The motor speed is then reset back to 25% and Tricky's arm will turn for one second to put that arm back into the starting position. The final touches are to add a wait two seconds button just to make Tricky is in his correct position and then the program will stop and exit, finishing off the activity.